Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be going over Playground AI and we're going to get started creating a few images here on Playground. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial and this review. So first off, I want to show you around the website. So this is the homepage. It has a search function here in the top left corner where I can search for a specific image. Throughout all of the images here, you can also click on an image, you can remix the image, you can copy a prompt, you can edit the image's features here. So for example, if I want to click here and edit, I have the actual image and I can go ahead and add a mask. For example, if I want to add a beard to the character and kind of tell it what it is. So for example, if I want to add a white beard and I could go ahead and hit generate, it will generate that image for me with a white beard. Now, obviously, it's not something I necessarily want, but you get the concept of what it can do. These are one of the many functions, as you can see, uh, within Playground AI. So you can see here there's a beard. Uh, anyways, back to the home page. Um, I can click on different images. I can save images. Uh, I can download them. I can copy the links here. I can report an image. Uh, I don't report images. Obviously, there's no point in my opinion, but you get the concept of things that you could do. Here you can favorite your images, so you just click on the favorite button, and um, so once you like a photo, when you like a photo, it will show up in your profile feed. So you go over here to profile, and let me just show you how this ta uh, works. The one thing I kind of don't like about uh, Playground AI is that in order for it to show my profile or for me to see the feed, it takes a very long time to get there. Uh, the photo shows up here in my likes section. All right, so those are the kind of main functions of the home page. Of course, over here on the top right hand, top left hand corner, once again, we have these categories. So, for example, landscapes. I can click on landscapes and find different inspiration. And so, what you're going to take away here from Playground AI is that there's two main functions, right? You have the 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 kind of view aspect the feed aspect the inspiration aspect where you get to see these images and then you actually have the real content creation aspect or the image generation aspect to it so let's go ahead and hop into the meat and potatoes of the video which we're actually going to talk about the creation so you go over here to create this create button you hit the create button and um I'll kind of describe all these different functions from the left to the right hand side. So, over, of course, over here on the left, we have our filters, uh, which these are our, um, I guess you could say modes, I don't know, filters, um, there's a word for it, a technical term for it, I just can't remember, uh, models, there we go, it's called the models, um, and it will basically create an image in a certain style that you want. Here we have our prompt, we have the ability to remove certain data from our image, we have an image to image creation function, which is always great, one of my favorites. Uh, we have three different kinds of models, we have Stable Diffusion 1.5, Stable Diffusion 2.1, and Dolly 2. My favorite by far is Stable Diffusion 1.5. Uh, here we have image generation dimensions, so you can play around with the sizes that you want. Uh, my recommendation is start off with a small size and then work your way up as you enhance the image. Uh, prompt guidance is just how how do you want how much weight do you want that the prompt to hold? Uh, the more you know the, the higher it is that means the more emphasis will be on the details of the prompt uh, quality and details refers to the number of steps it takes to create the image the more uh, qual the more this number is the more quality it takes the more steps it takes and of course the seed is for the number generation so for example if you create a photo and you type in a random number that will correlate to a particular photo which is referred to as a seed. Hence why I've spoken about this before, but you can track different images. After the seed, you have the number of images produced anywhere from one to four per creation. And of course, private or public sessions, you could turn that on. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and jump into some image creation. Um, I'm gonna jump right into my profile here because I wanna kinda, I kinda gave, I kinda created a few images already that I want to show you. And I've had Playground AI for, a little while now I have you know a bunch of different things going on here testing different images different things like that so I'll kind of show you what's going on here let me just have this load and you'll see here some random photos on my feed so let's go ahead and target this image let's click on this image and this is a live tutorial so this is an image I created I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, remix here or download first and then I'm gonna remix and we're first gonna do the image to image creation so I have a prompt, okay? I have my model, 
I have my image. And by the way, guys, models are not required. You don't have to use a model specifically. Okay, that's just a little FYI. And then we have prompt guidance, quality and details, and of course, image generations. Let's go ahead and hit generate. And what it's doing now is it's generating an image off of all these details, including this image. So it's using this image as a basis to what it's going to create. And so there you go, it created an image. A little bit weird, a little bit odd, but hey, it created an image. I don't think the eye is supposed to look like that. But let's say I want to create variations. I'll go over here, four generations of images, and then I'll go ahead and click these four generations. You can see here, there's four images being created. Now, what I'm going to do is for the next one, I'm going to switch the model so I can show you kind of how it will look, right? So let's just wait for this to do its thing. And just for the future so that we could save time, I'm going to downsize this thing just a little bit so it doesn't take as long and I'm going to decrease the quality. Okay, so I'm going to decrease the quality to about right here. Okay, so these are the different creations. Some of them look really good. Some of them look, you know, not so good. Like I would more go for this one, but obviously there are things that need to be changed here. Uh, but anyways, you kind of get the point. So this is an example of delicate detail, the model. Let's go ahead and select Playtune here, which is my like basic assumption. It's kind of like um, Pixar. If you guys seen Pixar movies and things like that, that's what kind of Playtune uh, results produce. So I should be looking at a Pixar looking parrot in a few seconds so we'll wait for that to happen and there you go so once again really cute parrot right there i actually really really like that photo um and yeah so you kind of see how it works i can also switch it again and i can select for example anime so i'm not sure how anime is going to turn out but we'll see how it looks give it a second and cool thing about this is like you can create thousands of different image variations super super simple so these are anime style parrots i guess you could say um then we could go over here to something like dark comic let's see how that would look okay like i said there's so many options in fact they actually added a few recently and uh kids storybook is new mix punk is new um i'm Om ominous escape is new uh wall art is relatively new i think it's like a few weeks old um here we go this is this is dark comic dark comic looks really cool actually i like that so yeah guys this is playground ai hopefully you guys enjoyed this video tutorial slash review uh i give this 10 out of 10 stars great job on the software playground ai they did a great work and uh, i really like this software and this is definitely going to be one of the softwares that i use by the way i already have the premium subscription so i pay for that um i intend to use multiple softwares and uh yeah that's pretty much it i'll talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching and peace out bye